Design teams can waste a lot of time trying to find files, working on outdated version, maybe trying to you know, merge changes or even duplicating work. And as projects get more complex, staying on the same page and removing overhead is truly essential. With cloud documents, you and your team work on projects from anywhere. So if you create a new document in XD by pressing Command and N on Mac OS or Control N on Windows, choose the phone preset here, after it opens, the document is automatically saved as a cloud document. You can see the cloud icon and saving up here. When you first create a document, you can easily rename the file or even save a local copy by clicking the name here. So I'll change the name and click Save. Now, if your team is building a design system like you've been building throughout this course, you can share assets like colors and components across your documents. This allows your teams to design quickly and even consistently. So the design system document or documents need to be saved as cloud documents. With the assets panel showing, to use assets from another cloud document, click the plus here and it'll open a window where you can select a cloud document to link to. Now if the assets panel is empty, meaning there's nothing in it, you'll also see a button labeled link assets that you can click. Choose your design system cloud document you could also even choose a cloud document shared with you or convert a sketch library to use those assets in XD. Any assets found in the source document are now shown in the assets panel and they've got these little link icons to the right of their names. You currently can't unlink the asset from the source document, only individual instances placed on the canvas. Now, if an asset changes in the source document, if you come to one of the colors here, as a matter of fact, and right click on it, you'll see Edit in Source Document. If you choose that, the design system is opened and you can make an edit to the color, for instance. I'll make a quick change here. Now the file should auto save for you, but it might take a few seconds here, so go ahead and save the file. Back in the new project file you created, you'll receive a notification of the changes and you can preview an update in your designs. That way your team can maintain a source of truth for your design system and you can easily work with those assets in your own documents. You can invite other designers to your document using the built-in share workflow. We'll cover that in a later section.